everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a school supply haul as well as a what's in my pencil case. So basically the reason I'm doing a what's in my pencil case, not like having the stationary part of a school supply haul, is because I filmed this when I got, like straight away, as soon as I got my stationery and all my school supplies. And, um, Adobe mucked up and so I refilmed it and deleted that footage and then it mucked up again. So I've decided that I'm fed up with everything mucking up on me. So I'm going to use iMovie on my phone, iPad or phone, whatever one I film on. And yes, the quality may not be as good and the sound may not be as good. But unfortunately, you'll probably just have to put up with it for a year. Um, but please excuse my pimples. But anyway, without further ado... Well, let's get on to start off with I'm going to start off with like notebooks and all that so I have my Le Lever Lever arch file this is the 75 millimeter one and we need this for English so I just picked it up in purple to go with that I had to get 50 a4 loose sheet loose leaf paper refills reinforced um, they only had 200 so I just got 200 and I can always reuse it next year or something like that. Then I got eight of these 96 A4 binder books. Um, that is basically one for each subject, obviously, and that's the style they like it in. They like it binder style. So that's what I picked up. And then I could not, for the life of me, find any... Um, mass grid books so normally a mass grid book doesn't matter if it's binded or not it just needs to be a large one i couldn't find them apps anywhere obviously i think they'd be at office works but the off lo, the closest office works to us is probably like 20 minutes away you know it's like eh. but anyway so i went to kmart today with my nan when we were just wandering like we went shopping today and I picked, we went to Kmart and I found one. It was the only grid book I found besides Target, but I didn't pick that one up. Um, but yeah, so I found this one here and I was like, right, I'll just get two of these and run out of one. I'll just use the other. So that's what I did. And then the last paper thing you could say is I got this A4 5 subject tab book. Um, I got this today because I want to use this as my study book so I'm going to do a whole organization video on um, this so look out for that and I'll explain why I'm using this and all that and then it will make sense so that is all for my paper stuff you could say another thing to go with my organization video is this oh five draw organizer thing um keep in mind i bought that with my own money so it was with my christmas money um and i wanted to invest in that so yeah i was really happy when i bought that today and that's why i got it now moving on to school supplies so, oh, oh i forgot i also got some system palm cards um, these are very, very, very good for studying. I use these all the time for studying. So that is why I bought these because I ran out. I used them all last year. So <laughs> got another pack. Here is my pencil case. My pencil case is from Target. I got it for $10. And funny fact, it is not a pencil case. It is a makeup bag, but I really liked it. And I thought, hmm, no one will know it's a makeup bag. And I just thought, yeah i'll use it so starting off with i oh yeah disclaimer a lot of this stuff is from last year because i thought if i'm not haven't used it or finished it i might as well reuse it so i got these highlighters these are the stablo eight pack of highlighters i think and i have I got them in the middle of the year because English and some other subjects, they used a lot of colours and I didn't have a lot of colours. So I um, went out to office work and I picked up these and I was really super duper happy when I got them because it was the best decision I've ever made in my life. Yeah, so I highly recommend if you need a lot of colours, definitely get 
and it like highlighters that have different colors for you to be able to use different colors when you're color coding and all that then i have my calculator this is just the casio one and i've had this since year seven and i just said to keep reusing it so i've got that my stedler um kit now yes you're probably wondering it looks a bit beaten up um this one i got in year seven and then it got packed in a moving box and so i had to get a new one because we stayed at nine and pops longer than expected so i had to get a new one before school started and then i just as soon as i unpacked it i switched them over so i have the new one at home when this one finally dies i don't think it will it's doing pretty well <laughs> then i just have for my rubbers, you could say, I just have this smiggle one, which I've had for years, but I just keep it at home. And then this little one from last year. So I thought if this rubs, if this rubs out, if this runs out, I just have this one. Or if this gets too small for me, I just have this one. You know what I mean? And then I have two glue sticks. Oh, glue. A glue tape and glue stick. Um, I'm reusing the one from last year because I used a whole one last year and then towards the end of the year I had to pick up another one so I this is the other one which hasn't been used that much and then I got glue tape because I picked up one last year and it was the best thing I've ever used but um, I ran out of it so I picked up two when we went shopping so I have one spare one when this one runs out and I also just have my mini sharpener which I have been using since year seven for pens and all that. Well, hello to you too. The uh, Faber Castell colours. I've had these ones again since year 7. And they're just really good. I've sharpened them again. And I'm just going to reuse them. Because I don't do art. Because I'm in year 9 this year. Art is an elective from now on. And I didn't choose to do art. So using coloured pencils are pretty rare. That's why I just decided to reuse them i'm not going to get new ones and then for pens this year i'm trying out these erasable ones i got one in pink and black because i use black a lot to write in and pink to mark my work and i want to try these erasable ones because i use a lot and a lot of white out and i thought if i could save on buying white out i might try and use these pens so i got these two and then just for backup i have um these two which i used last year and i really like them but i'm just trying these ones to save them white out but i still definitely use these just in case then i have two hb pencils we always seem to have to get new ones each year they either run out or we lose them so i picked up a pack of those and i'm using those this year and then last but not least i got a foldable ruler so my pencil case last year was quite big um and i liked it because everything fitted in it and i had no problems with it but towards the end of the year the my ruler broke because i had to take it out of my diary which is what we get given each year and the cover ripped because of the diary so i decided to instead um go ahead and purchase a foldable one so I don't have to keep buying big pencil cases to fit it in and I can just fold it up and I've already used this to do my bullet journaling and it was really really handy so if you're considering buying a foldable ruler I highly 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 recommend it so that's all for my pencil case video as well as school supplies video I hope you all enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.